page and today I will show you uh, how to do the multiple choicing for the Hong Kong I exam part three building structures actually this is uh, normally they will cover the multiple choices and that's why the basic principles you uh, do the multiple choices try to erase the untruth or something you think should not be correct and take it out first and then consider the basic buildings you see and then you merge in something you see every day and try to think whether the sentence is correct or not oh, okay let me try the first one for you actually the first one is talking about the steel work and sometimes you need to understand the terms of fatigue and the top tops I will show you what they are the first one fatigue is something like something you uh, apply the force maybe in cycle that's mean like the earthquake they will go to the left and go to the right and go into the cycles in within a certain periods. We call fatigue. And then for the dot tau, it means something like this: the force applied and then further extend. If they break suddenly, we call beetles. But if they further extend, we can call this is dot tau. That means you can see the first one should be called wet. Okay. The second one is also related to the high string steel. They will be more the tau than the low string. But the third one, if you don't understand what is the web and the fence, you don't know how to answer this one. The first one, that's why you need to understand the fence is the top part of the I beam and the middle one we call the web. Also the shear force will be most likely will be taken from the web that's mean should not be correct for this one I think this multiple choice is uh, a little bit difficult for this one but actually when you uh, remember what is the terminology and then you can answer the question okay try the second one which is suitable for 30 story building with a uh, 4 pen 200 meter square the first one you need to understand what is our wake our system is normally is a very tall building, nice to super tall building. Uh, in Hong Kong, like the ICC, they use the outwicker system. They try to combine the core wall and shear walls together by the steel truss or the, by the, the concrete. They can reduce the deflection. And for the item speed, this is talking about the core wall with shear wall. This is another type of the outwicker system. Actually, the first one is by the steel and sometimes in Australia they will use the concrete in Hong Kong there are some cases they also use the concrete that's why uh, the first one A and B should be taken out because you can imagine this is only 30 story buildings that's why think about is a very typical Hong Kong buildings this is a only have a staircase and a, a parameter columns and then before that, you need to understand the basic uh, principles. For example, normally for the story height is about 4 meters. That means you can imagine this is talking about the building is 120 meters. And the four pan is a 200. This means about 40 meters down, 40 meters. That means it should not be a very uh, big building. And depends on the height, it's very typical. Try to use the typical Hong Kong style. It's uh, only have a central core with the service and the uh, uh, column should be good enough for taking the window. That means all the outwick should be used for super tall building around 400 meters. And this question is talking about the uh, how to choose the steel section for the horizontal member. The first one you need to understand the uh, when you choose the member, normally it will be depends on the loading, okay? And then sometimes we need to consider the connection. That means for the first one, uh, if the internal forces is easily developed, and then you usually find the better ways to solve and install. And the second one is talking about if the magnitude is very high, you try to use the higher steel gray or uh, the thickness should be high okay and then try to another one for the shear wall shear wall is used to take the lateral load is uh, very common 
and but this one you need to understand normally the fitness for the higher level they can reduce because the load can reduce that means item B should be taken out and then the item C opening can be formed in the shield wall provided we have a strengthening for example like this we add more steel reinforcement we can provide the opening but you need to understand the opening should be done before the construction rather than just you want to make it open you can open that means you need to consult the engineer before you do it and then you also need to understand shear wall this is so called the major axis minor, sorry this is minor axis that means when we bend in this direction this is where we win and that's why for the shear wall only the major axis that means if we apply the force in here this is very strong but if we apply to another direction it will be very weak that means shear wall is only weak in one axis I will show you more details later and then this talking about the long bending board walls is very common for the new terrorist three story buildings normally we don't have any tie in here that's why for this one just remember they will control the height with uh, 30 meters times thickness is good enough for this one and then for this one you need to understand what is torsion torsion is something like we twisting the member they will form a torsion that means you need to understand the term of torsion but before that I also show you need also need to understand the term of tension something you taking now if we have compassion something is a compassion and this is a shear force and this is a torsional force and if this is a bending and you need to understand the terms that's why you need to understand the spiral staircase this is a circular in shape that means it is easily uh, from a torsional force and something if this is not a straight line this is a, have a, some curvature this is also easily like the balcony supported by the curved beam they will also have a no force that means from the wall from something the pen is not a straight line this is a they have a form a circle it's really normally to form a torso and the spacing of trust what you need to do is a uh, sorry about this and normally the spacing of trust depends on the loading the more loading we need the spacing should be reduced. Also, if this is a very uh, heavy building, that's been the light flow, like the palm room, we need to have a uh, much more spacing and much more steel truss. And also, and for the truss spacing, also depends on the purling. Purling is something like this: the horizontal member to support the roof and the roof material. That's mean, and uh, you can imagine something is a. Uh, the loading tire they we need to reduce the spacing of the truss okay and this is talking about the fast lap before that you need to understand actually fast lap we can provide higher headroom for the beam slab you can imagine the we need to have a uh, increase the headroom provide in order to provide key events for the uh, end user that means if we provide the building services this is good for the fast lab you can imagine if I provide the services like this I need to ban the uh, services and then the heaven with deals that's mean uh, fast lab should be good for the uh, building services and sometimes you need to understand sometimes fast lab will have a column job sometimes we don't have that's mean B is also correct and then for the concrete quad you need to understand uh, what is the uh, means of the settlements what is the mean of the thermal movement and language I will teach you what they are and the uh, settlement actually there's a uh, two types you need to understand if the soil is very weak the whole building will be fall down uniformly that mean there's a uniform settlement but if the soil is weak in y direction and strong in uh, left hand side you can see the settlement will be different we call defensive settlement that means you can imagine cracking is normally uh, 
induced by the defensive settlement and the settlement of the buildings. For example, for the Hong Kong project, you, when you see the excavation work for the MTL project, it will normally create quiet to the existing buildings. And then you need to understand the thermal movement. So thermal movement is something like this. When we have a thermal, uh, uh, the concrete will be explained bring to the left and right. That means to if you don't provide a jointing some area for them to explain and then they will have found the crack. Shrinkage is something like the water going out from the concrete. If you don't have enough water or the uh, protective barrier, the water will easily vibrate and we will also form the, the shrinkage. Shrinkage is formed by the uh, hydration of the waters. Okay, and this is the last one I want to show you. The first one, for the window, you also need to understand the basic principle. Is the the higher level we have, the higher window we have, and for the ground level, the window we deal you can imagine. This may be due to the existing building is bought by existing building, or the due to the rough plus of the ground floor, and then for different shape you can imagine the windows will be reduced. That's why you can imagine sometimes they will, uh, for the super tall building, they will have a one angles near the edge to reduce the window. And then the wind suction, normally when you come across the case of the typhoon, you may need to come across there's as many uh, paper coming out from the window. This is called by the suction. And due to the Suction is due to different pressure between the internal area and the external area. That means, to certain cases, the suction is very large, cannot be uh, ignored. Okay, that is for the uh, part one, uh, Hong Kong IA uh, building structures exam. Thank you.